Hey my narcissist, they could be his family. My topic today is about the aging narcissist. What happens when these people get older? My primary focus is parents because that is my situation. Um, obviously, as people get older, they don't have the same faculties that were once available to them. Their physical bodies can start failing them, as well as their mental acuity being as sharp or as, you know, having information as readily available at the tip of your tongue or whatever. So this is a frustrating process for anyone, but when it comes to narcissists, it's just that much more infuriating but again as with everything they just use it like they do everything they will manipulate it to their advantage and the way that they do this is their sense of entitlement gets even worse because they feel like well i'm getting older i should get special treatment I should have all of these special concessions available to me. So they they feel a sense of entitlement even more amplified than they already did. So as they get older, it gets worse. Um, and they also feel like they should not have to ask for these special concessions for this special treatment, they have earned it. It is just something that should inherently come to them. Something that I thought was so important is the fact that hope is the most destructive and damaging thing that we can hold onto as children of narcissists. It's like, it's natural, you know, it's because we're decent human beings and we have humanity inside of us, unlike our narcissistic parents. They, um, you know, we think, and I'm guilty of this as well, we think, oh, as they get older, they'll reflect back on their lives, do a little, you know, self-assessment, and they will evaluate their relationships with people, how they've treated people or mistreated people. They'll see the error of their ways. They'll appreciate me as their child. And no, it does not happen. It will not happen. These people do not have the capacity to think this way. An adult child must create boundaries to protect themselves from the increasing onslaught of unrealistic demands from their, from their frail narcissistic parent. They must especially protect themselves from, and this is what I was saying, the, deadly, the deadliest activity of all, which is hoping that with increasing age and frailty, the lifelong self-absorbed parent will finally see their child for what they are, a real, separate, authentic human being worthy of respect and appreciation. And as I said, it doesn't happen. So that is something that we need to be conscious of as these people get older because it does not happen. It's a daydream of the child of a narcissist. So. Oh, this is another realization that we have to face. Is the fact that our parents never did and they never will love it, love us in the way we needed and wanted to be loved. This is something I'm trying to come to terms with myself. I mean, it's as obvious as the day is long, but it's something that you have to come to terms with ultimately. Um, 
you have to be aware of the hooks that your narcissistic parents have in you, which is the methods they employ to keep you where they want you, to keep you subservient, feeling inferior to them, or obligated. Sometimes it's impossible to do this to maintain these boundaries. In some cases, it's essential to just completely extricate yourself from the situation and go no contact, myself included. Um, this is something I wasn't sure how I was going to navigate it, but as my awareness and knowledge increased of what narcissistic people are, what they do. I just, I started kind of pulling back from the malicious, abusive dynamic. And the toxic duo made it painfully clear that this was the route I had to take in going no contact. They just doubled down on their toxicity and their abuse. They lashed out at me. They had narcissistic rage. They amplified the smear campaigns and all of that and coming at me. You know, the enabler father, he won't stand up to anyone in life, but he has no problem attacking me his daughter no problems with that because in his eyes he's defending the narcissist you know this poor this poor woman that he is responsible for caring for and taking care of because this is the narrative that has been constructed throughout their marriage I feel like, like the narcissists are very manipulative and I feel like this has been the manipulation tactic in which she has achieved her agenda. It's like, it's kind of an unspoken agreement. You know, she treats him like the big man, the big hero, and in return, he has unflinching loyalty, full allegiance to her, and he will defend her to the death, no matter how wrong she is, and malicious her behavior and actions are, even to their own daughter. So, basically, my point of this video is that as narcissists get older, they will only get worse and more demanding. We might still have hope, you know, bouncing around in there that they're going to see the light, that they're going to do some self-reflection, but they're not capable of doing this. They have no capacity for bettering themselves or evaluating how awful they're actions are everything is about them they have tunnel vision all they care about is forwarding their agenda and achieving whatever their intentions are so they will trample anyone in the process as they have done their entire lives so they get older and I know my narc mother would always say I'm old and I'm not going to change and you know I'm set in my ways so that's like their justification for how awful they really are. Um, I wish it was different, man. I wish the whole situation was different. But this is what we're dealing with. And the sooner we come to terms with this kind of stuff, the better off we are. Primary purpose is that we have to protect ourselves. Because these people never protected us. So it's now our time to serve ourselves like they have failed us our entire lives they've actually been harming us not just it's not just a failure to support us 
They've actually been maliciously hurting us our entire lives. Um, one of my intentions, I'm not going to lie, in going no contact is like, I don't want to deal with these people. I have so much anger and resentment that I'm trying to deal with. But, like, how am I supposed to help them and serve them as they get older, you know? No doubt this was one of the obligations that I have as their child in their mind. You know, they feel like it's my duty, you know, to just serve them unconditionally. And very one-sided as it has been all this time. But... I'm not going to lie, it was in the back of my head with initiating this no contact. I'm like, I just want to be free of all of this toxicity. And I'm not going to let them hurt me anymore. And I just want to focus on my family that I love and treasure and cherish. And they deserve better and they deserve the best version of me that I can be. Corny, but it is what it is. All right, you guys, I love and appreciate every single one of you. We are bumped and we're bruised, but more than anything else, we are so blessed to find each other, this amazing community with validation and compassion for one another. And, you know, knowledge is power. It's everything. We're getting through this. We're getting over it and we're taking back our awesome lives, living our best fabulous lives. All right, you guys, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for, oh, 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 I always forget. Please like, please give me a thumbs up if, you know, hopefully I provided you with some useful information in this video. See you guys soon.